Hey guys, Mark from Tribeca Beverage. Uh, today I'm going to actually be testing the pH of my water and my competition's water. Uh, so today we're actually here at a, what I believe it's called Absolutely Fish uh, to buy a dye test. A curbside pickup. Again, curbside pickup because of the pandemic. And they are coming and dropping off the dye test and then I'm going to head to my next destinations. If you're wondering what pH even means because we are testing the pH of all the waters, it's potential of hydrogen. All right guys, we're here at the shop right. We're here to check out the competition, buy a bunch of different water brands, see what it's all about. Access granted. Alkaline 88, 8.8. .8. It's a smooth hydrate, hydration for 299. We got a case of Dasani over here. Can't really figure out the price, so unless this is it here, I see a bunch of price tags. Can't really tell what the the Sonys are located. So now we'll take a look at the other brands here. Evian for $2.29. Life Water. Smart Water. Smart Water Alkaline. Different. Take this so I can get this out. Here, Essentia. Everybody knows Essentia. They're a big brand, big competition. Core pH water. Look at these crazy prices though. And we got Aquapana here. I'd love to take a look at plastic versus glass, which is in the background. Everybody always asks if plastic and glass have a different pH. Let's get this settled right now. We got the normal pole and spring. Then Poland Spring Origin, don't really know what the difference is, but we'll grab them both. You got Fiji water back there, really not a ton of Fiji water. Is that the price over here? I guess we'll see it on the receipts. Let's throw this bad boy in the mix. And look at all the water that we have down here. A whole bunch of different options here. And of course, avocados because I am a millennial. All right, guys, just left ShopRite. As you can see in the back corner, the logo back there. And I just picked up a whole bunch of water. Now we're on the way to the warehouse, which is fortunately right down the street from here. And we are going to be picking up Tribeca water to add to the competition when we measure the pH. All right, guys, we're here at the warehouse. Uh, I want to show you these are trucks real quick. There's the uh, garage door. There's the front door. You can't really see it, but there's a logo with Tribeca Beverage on it. This is the entrance to Tribeca Beverage. We open up. Here's how we kind of walk into, or here's how we get to the bottling plant itself. Turn in here, make a left. All right, just picking up a five gallon jug, but this does retail for um, $8.50. So you followed me to ShopRite, Absolute Fish, the warehouse, the bottling plant. And now we've landed here and we're gonna test the pH of all of my competition. All right, so here we're looking at Dasani. Pour this real quick here. Let's take a look at the pH. A couple. Yellow, acidic, really not necessarily where you wanna be if you're looking for alkaline water. Then we've got life water. We move on to the next one. Pour it a little bit in there. Life water, I feel like I see at CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, wherever the case, many, many stores. Also, I actually thought life water was supposed to be alkaline. Really surprised to see that the dye test is bringing a yellowish. Really, really surprised about that. Then we have Alkaline 8.8. .8. I don't know if you've ever seen the commercials or advertisements for this. They're all over Walgreens. Just pour a little bit there. They call it Alkaline 8.8 .8 because I guess the pH is supposed to be around 8.8. .8. And uh, it is in fact alkaline like they promise it to be. But a, a couple things here, and we can go back to the receipt. 
you're paying a good amount of money for an uh, a container this size, and, and we'll put on the screen the actual amount we're paying, whether it's for life water, Dasani, I mean, these two are acidic, but, and Dasani is obviously pretty inexpensive, but Alkaline 8.8 is pretty expensive for what you pay. Then we've got Fiji, really another popular brand, spring water, supposedly from the island of Fiji, at least that's what it says on the bottling. Pour it a little bit in there. I, I used to like Fiji, then I stopped liking Fiji. I don't know why, I just kind of lost interest in the taste over there. This is coming back. More on the darker yellowy side, which I'm surprised to see. We are using a higher pH, high range pH test solution, so it's a little bit less forgiving if your pH is in a, in a lower range here. So that's why the color might seem a little bit more distorted. Um, then we've got Iceland natural spring water. We're gonna pour this right now. Again, I, I think we're looking for 8.88. That's what it says on the bottle. So it should still be alkaline. This is Poland Spring Origin, and then I've got the normal Poland Spring. I will see what the uh, pH is on this bad boy. The design of Poland Spring Origin is much cooler. That's probably why they charge me probably I think like a dollar more, something like that. And uh, I noticed the dry is bad because the one I just said Poland Spring is acidic, so Poland Spring Origin looks acidic. Let's take a look at this bottle here. Poland Spring is usually pretty competitively priced. Um, actually, one of the most competitive priced spring waters I've really seen. But again, if you're not concerned about pH, then maybe you like Poland Spring. You might like it. I don't know. This Nestle. Again, this has come back yellowish. Um, not surprised there. And we've got Core, Core, perfectly balanced pH purified water. I am calling out a lot of companies here that are not mine. Got a lot of plugins for a lot of companies that are not mine. Core really has a cool bottle. I think that's why it sells so well. But it really does have a cool bottle. This is perfectly down, huge. And this is also coming back a pretty dark yellow, red, reddish. Now we flip sides over here to Evian. Also a pretty popular brand. From what I understand is they're on the neutral side or close to neutral or acidic or something along that range. Also pretty expensive. Also coming back yellow. Now, I, what I did today is I got Aquapana in glass, and then I also got Aquapana in plastic because there's so many people that approach me or that I speak to over the phone and tell me that there's you can't have alkaline water in plastic versus glass, so I got bought both brands, and, and we'll really get to the, I don't know, we'll, we'll get to the, we'll figure out the, uh, the reality there in a second here. So this is the plastic that I'm now testing the pH for. a little bit more of a red color between uh, yellow and purple. Again, this is the high range pH test solution, so maybe you won't see the normal colors. We're gonna include a graph on the bottom to give you a little bit of gauge of what we think the pH is based off the color that it's turning. The more purple, the more alkaline. The yellow, the more acidic or neutral. Now we have the glass version of Aquapana. And 
you know? It looks like the colors are actually pretty different. It looks like, uh, I don't know whether it's bobbing in a different location or if it's, or maybe because it's glass. It looks like the pH is a little bit higher in the glass bottles. Now we have Essentia. It seems like the brand everybody knows. It's, it's our, it's the brand everybody brings up. I think it's really going to spark a lot of people's interest in alkaline water, but it is so expensive. I think I paid $2.69 for this liter and a half bottle. We pour this. And look, I like Essentia myself. I, you know, I enjoy the taste of the water. And no surprise, it's alkaline. Now we have Smart Water. We have two Smart Water brands, the normal Smart Water and then the alkaline Smart Water. So we're gonna get both in there. This seems to be coming back on the yellow side, no surprise there. Um, I, I do like the taste of Smart Water, however, I'm not surprised. It's probably more on the acidic side. And now we have Smart Water Alkaline. Now this claims nine plus pH, nine plus pH. We're gonna see how it performs with the test. And uh, it's coming back purple. Uh, I, you know, not really surprised there. Uh, it is alkaline. And then last but not least, we have Tribeca water. And I have no way of pouring this, so I'm not even gonna attempt to, but if you follow me over here, we'll go to the water cooler and then we'll follow this back over here. We'll test the pH of this real quick. I might have poured a little bit too much in there. As you can see, it's also coming back purple. So just, so I wanna get one quick look at the, the total table of all the brands on here. We have 16 different brands. As you saw at my experience at ShopRite, I just started throwing things into the basket. I don't know if the uh, cashier thought I was a crazy person picking up all these different bottles of water. So guys, if you're not concerned about pH, you can always go with brands like Dasani or Poland Spring because they're probably not so expensive. If you are concerned about pH, Essentia, our brands, the uh, Alkaline 8.8, .8, the uh, Smart Water Alkaline are also relatively good picks. Um, but if you're looking for a much less expensive solution, that's really kind of where we stand out the most. Um, Tribeca Beverage Water, this bad boy, this big jug right here is... Uh, We've got the deals. We've got the deals that steal. And thanks guys for taking the time to watch this video. As always, just like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. Uh, and if you're if we're if we're in your area and we deliver water to your area, let us know. We'd be happy to deliver you.